close result um, over in the West. Is that actually a good thing for the players? Oh, it's good for the players. It's good for the coaching staff too. We had to really work hard and, and uh, in the box, and I think it's uh, it's, uh, it's great to play in close games and, and to win them. Lee Matthews uh, seemed to think that you're playing patchy football over the last couple of weeks. What do you make of those comments? Uh, it's probably true. We've won four quarters out of the, out of the last eight, so um, Lee's just probably observed what everyone else has observed, and we've observed it too. So um, yeah, it's probably a fair statement. Is it a is it a concern, Bomber, this patchiness? How do you account for it? No, it's, well, you can't play your best footy every game of the year, so it's uh, it's not a problem. You know, we we would, uh, you know, it's, it is pretty difficult to play over in Perth and to win. And a couple of years ago, we had a, a shocking record interstate, and we've already won two interstate games this year. So um, we knew Fremantle had a lot to play for. So we're back at home this week, and we expect to play a bit better. He said mm. that also that he didn't know what that meant about your psych, maybe that you're. Um, mm getting bored of football? What do you think of that? Um, not much, really. I haven't got an opinion either way, but um, I just know that Fremantle had a big game and that um, you know, the week before we played a terrific game against Sydney, who were absolutely fantastic. It was a hard, solid game and, again, a close game, which is, you know, I don't think such a real problem at the moment. Do you mm. think he's trying to stir things up a little bit because it's it's down here at your home ground and there is an intimidation factor? Um, no, I don't know. That Lee uses that tactics that much, to be honest. He's just probably telling it the way it is, and um, that's the way he sees it. Um, you know, I'm happy we're playing here. I'm, I'm, uh, I, I think it's going to be another great game of footy, and looking forward to the Brisbane match. I suppose he did do the intimidation factors back in 2001 with Essendon, with the famous, if it bleeds, we can kill it. You don't think he's trying to do the same here? Oh, I don't think so, no. It's a bit, uh, it was a bit, uh, had more meaning, I think, the, uh, than that. Mm. After the guys have gone through a whole final series last year, how much do you feel there is a, a need for them to, to get back to those blockbuster matches? Can they get flat? Oh, there's no need really at all. Um, all we can do is just play Brisbane this week and we've got to, you know, it's round seven, so it's a long way to go in the year and, and um, you know, we're not playing our best footy. We don't really see the need to play our best footy. I think there's a lot of improvement to come back into the team and, and the way we play. What about Otto? How much are you missing his big body at the moment? Well, yeah, he's, look, he's missed the whole six games. And the one good thing is that Blakey's had some fantastic experience, number one Ruckman, and we play West and Mumford, but we certainly miss him. We'll get him back pretty soon, and, and uh, we'll be a much better side with him as the number one Ruckman, um, working um, together with, uh, with Blakey or Westy. Do you expect Ablett to be targeted again in the same way this weekend? I think the opposition players will probably be, the umpires will be on to it a little bit more. It's had a lot of media exposure this week and, uh, you know, Gary was, uh, and some of the good players just had a week where they just really got treated uh, pretty roughly. You know, they might get a few more free kicks if they try the same tactics this week, you'd hope.